On this week's episode of JAG TV, we take an inside look on the reality of being quarantined. How a student with the help of a National Honor Society is making a difference for animal shelters during the freezing weather. And a cold treat to satisfy your sweet tooth this winter season. From Blue Spring South High School, this is the award-winning JAG TV. Welcome to this week's edition of JAG TV. I'm Sawyer Jackson. And I'm Avery Rayler. During the winter months, animal shelters need all the help they can get. South student Alexis Seltzer started a drive to help out. Here's Elise with the story. Our pets are our best friends. During these cold and harsh winter months, local animal shelters need our help. The National Honor Society is doing exactly that. So um, we're collecting um, linen, so basically like towels, blankets, sheets, and comforters. Um, and they're going to local animal shelters um, around the KC area. Basically just during like the colder winter months, we want to make sure that these animals have like the proper supplies that they need to stay warm. These donations will be given to 21 different shelters such as KC Pet Project and Wayside Waves. Donating to these shelters will make such a huge impact on these animals' lives. So for NHS, we are doing a service project called Covers for Critters, and we are collecting blankets and towels and sheets and comforters, anything like linens or bedding um, to help make the little animals coming into the animal clinics more comfortable in these cold months. And uh, those things can be turned into me here in room 316. Our pets are our family and are more important than ever this year. To give back to our furry friends, consider donating to NHS. I'm Elise Edwards, JAG TV. If you want to help out, bring your donations to Mrs. Morrow's room at 316 at South. Speaking of helping out, the Blue Springs Council of Parent-Teacher Associations recently held a joint effort coat drive. The closet serves students throughout the boundaries of the Blue Springs School District, and the participating schools were Blue Springs Early Childhood, Chapel Lakes Elementary, Cordell Mason Elementary, Franklin Smith Elementary, Moreland Ridge Middle School, Thomas Ultican Elementary, Boy Spears Junior Elementary, and William Yates Elementary. The exceptional design program at Blue Springs High School is making mask lanyards to sell to students and staff around the district. This life skills activity is teaching students the fundamentals of running a business, handling finances, and dealing with orders. With students returning from winter break, COVID exposures at schools have caused students to be quarantined. Here's Ainsley with a sneak peek at life in quarantine. Over the past several weeks, Jackson County has fortunately seen their COVID cases going down with numbers as low as last summer. Yet many students in our school district are still dealing with quarantine due to exposure. It was really boring. I didn't do anything. I had to stay home. Uh, I missed my friends a lot and my basketball team because I had to miss games and practice. JAG TV's very own Kennedy Stevenson also shares her thoughts from quarantine. It's really hard trying to stay motivated to do my schoolwork and I just feel really disconnected from all my teachers and friends so I'm really excited to get back. It's important to wear a mask and follow proper precautions to help keep everyone at school. I'm Ainsley McDonald for JAG TV. Make sure to wear your masks and stay safe, Jags. After the break, we will give you the latest COVID update in our school and district, as well as an update on how our new building at South has affected students. Hey Jags, welcome back to school. This is Brandon Jackley, the owner of Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs. We want to show you some great things we've been doing with our drive-through, and Brooklyn is going to show us what that looks like. All right, let's go. Here, underneath the big tent, we've got two lanes full of vehicles, and we have up to four order takers. Hi, I'm Emily. And here, when you pull up to the speaker boxes, we're going to take your payment so the process goes faster. By the time you get to the window, your food is ready to go. And the last stop you'll make after you get your food is our condiment station where you can get our famous Chick-fil-A sauce. Come see for yourself at Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs, across from Home Depot. Come see us soon. Dollquest Dental has been proudly serving Blue Springs and the community for nearly 40 years. They offer family dentistry to all ages, sedation dentistry, wisdom teeth extractions, and implant surgery. When it comes to insurance, they accept Delta Dental and all PPO insurance plans. And if you're on a very tight budget, payment plans are offered through Care Credit. Find out why so many have trusted Dollquest Dental for nearly four decades. They're located just off the outer road in Blue Springs. Give us a call or visit us at our website, golfwithdental.com. We'll see you soon. Hey, I'm Zach. Welcome to 2021. Come see us after school today. Our drive through has been open during this whole time. It's actually faster than ever. We have people out there when we need to, and there's too many cars to take orders. 
um, as well as uh, we're getting you in and out and keeping the line moving. We got uh, dining rooms, got social distancing going on. We're all wearing masks when you're in the store. Shakes, concretes, and as well as we have delicious cheese curds and butter burgers all time. Colonial Gardens is known for its high quality plants, but it's also the perfect backdrop for special occasion photos, especially for high school senior pictures. With so many colorful backgrounds, your special senior photo will come out just right. Also, we have a spacious, beautiful courtyard with a stage for that special graduation party or event. For more information and to schedule your picture shoot and event, email events at colonialgardenskc.com. News from South High School in the city of Blue Springs. You're watching JAG TV. As many of you know, Blue Springs South has bought the YMCA and has been using it for various classes and sports. Here's Micah with an update. The Blue Springs Aquatic Center is new to South after the Blue Springs School District bought out what used to be the YMCA. It was probably about a uh, three-month process in which uh, we were able to uh, get all the equipment out that was currently here because uh, the YMCA, when they left, uh, left a lot of it. So uh, it took about three months for us to get it all out, uh, get the rubber floor down uh, and the turf down, and get our equipment moved over from the old weight room. With the old weight room being small and filled with kids and weights, this new area allows kids to space out and have more room to move around, including a room for speed technique. Uh, we use it a lot for, uh, for our form running when we get our, our athletes in here, putting them in the right position. We use this a lot as a, as a hard surface area where they can use the mirrors and actually see the positions that we're telling them to get into. So having this is, a, is an added bonus to the already amazing facilities we have out there for our workouts. The aquatic center isn't only for weightlifting classes. The swim team uses the pool for practices and swim meets, and it is also open to the public. As you can see, the Blue Springs Aquatic Center is a great new addition here at South. Be sure to come by and check it out. I'm Micah Story, JAG TV. The new addition to South is extremely useful and we can't wait to keep using it for school activities. Here are some reminders. Yearbooks are now on sale and here's Yearbook with more. Um, yearbooks are for sale right now. Um, the deadline is February 14th, Valentine's Day. And also it is a senior ad. Um, deadline and if you use the code LOVE on the yearbook website when you order you can get 10% off. Don't forget there will be no school February 15th in observance of President's Day. Also if you want to show off your Chiefs spirit Thursday February 4th is twin day so coordinate with your friend to match in your favorite Chiefs gear. And Friday February 5th is Big Red Day. Now here's Izzy with City State Nation. In City News a new Blue Spring shop has found its sweet spot. Located on South 7, Bliss Chocolatier is the perfect combination of art, science, and food. Jessica Washburn and Pat Jarstad are the mother-daughter duo who founded the shop and who spend their time creating hand-painted candies. They claim that their main goal for their candies are beauty, flavor, and texture. In state news, NFL Films recently released its best mic up moments from the 2020 season. Our favorite moment from the reel has to be from Patrick Mahomes, who is telling Darwin Thompson that he was craving a cheeseburger in the middle of a game. Let's take a look. Can't wait to go home and have a nice hamburger. Oh, what? <laughs> that sounds great right now. Cheese, cheeseburger, I got some mac and cheese at the house today. Oh, man. In national news, as knowledge on African American history continues to spread, there is one key component to understanding the culture, music. In order to preserve and appreciate these musical artists, the National Museum of African American Music debuted in Nashville on Martin Luther King Jr. Day and officially opened its door to the public on January 30th. Some of the artifacts featured in the museum includes a Grammy won by Ella Fitzgerald and a gold-plated trumpet owned by Armstrong. Now here's Emily with the COVID update. Thanks, Isabel. Last week, there were 35 new cases in the Blue Springs School District, and only four were due to school-related spread. This has resulted in 207 staff and students quarantined district-wide due to exposure. The BSSD school with the most cases is Blue Springs South High School with nine. Last week, in Jackson County, there were 567 new cases a drop from the 987 cases the week before. Remember to mask up and stay safe. I'm Emily Wilson for JAG TV. After the break, we give you the latest news on South Sports and show you a tasty treat to test this winter. Now through May 31st, Big Frog is offering you great deals and giving money back to our own school district. 
Each time you order customized shirts for Blue Springs schools, clubs, and associations, 10% of the total purchase will help fund grants and scholarships distributed through the Blue Springs Education Foundation. It's a win-win situation. Design your own t-shirts at the area's largest selection of styles and colors. And money goes right back into the district's Education Foundation. Contact Big Frog at 816-795-1115. Or check their website, bigfrog.com backslash independent. Don't let pest control your life. Let Moxie Pest Control be your pain relief. That means a thorough inspection and treatment without dangerous chemicals. Experience the Moxie difference at killbugsfast.com. Moxie Pest Control, Kansas City's pest control experts. There are first days, long days, day after day after day, and days you've worked so hard for. So today, let's focus on turning your retirement dreams into reality. Because to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, take simple steps today. At Country Financial, when you're ready to start, we're ready to help. Call your financial representative, Stephen Perch, at 816-795-6232. JAG TV Sports is sponsored by Rod Sports of Blue Springs. The boys basketball team took a trip up north last week to play Park Hill, who are currently first in the conference. The Jags held the Trojans to just 10 points in the first quarter. South held on late as senior Devin Tomlinson hit a go-ahead jumper to put them up by one with five seconds left in the game. Tomlinson led all scorers with 21 points against Park Hill. On Friday, the Jags traveled across town to play the Wildcats. The Jags fought hard to stay in the game early, but it was all Wildcats late in the game, as the Jags fall 56-80. This week, the boys team will take on both Lee Summit North and Lee Summit West. The girls team also competed against Park Hill Monday, defeating Park Hill 64-53. The girls then hosted Blue Springs last Thursday, as they defeated the Wildcats 66-60. Senior Jaden Mason was on fire, scoring 26 points against the Wildcats, as they now improved to 9-5 on the season, and will also be playing both Lee Summit North and Lee Summit West this week. The wrestling team took a part in the Lydia's Lights Tournament Wednesday, taking first place, and defeating both William Christman and Park Hill by more than 20 points. Good luck to our winter sports teams the rest of the way out. I'm Ty Campbell with Jack TV Sports. Last weekend, staff and students from around the district raised over 7,500 for Special Olympics during the 2021 Polar Plunge. Participants virtually plunged at Blue Springs High School Aquatic Center at various times throughout the morning. Great job to all who made this happen. Speaking of the cold, we go to Braden to show us how to make a tasty ice cream cake. Hey Jags, this is BK and Mama Kemp in the kitchen. If you enjoy the peanut buster parfait from Dairy Queen, you'll love the Buster Bar ice cream cake that we're about to make. The ingredients you'll need for this recipe are 10 chocolate graham crackers, one gallon of vanilla ice cream, 14 ounce hot fudge sauce, one and a half cups of peanuts, and seven and a half ounce of magic shell chocolate coating. First, you're going to start by spreading the graham crackers at the bottom of the pan. Then you're going to make a layer of ice cream on top. Then you're going to spread the hot fudge sauce across the ice cream. Then you're going to sprinkle peanuts across the whole pan. Then you're going to do another layer of ice cream. After that, you're going to pour the magic shell chocolate across the top. Then to top it off, sprinkle more peanuts across the top. Now place your pan in the freezer and let it freeze for three hours. This is a quick and easy dessert that serves a lot of people and everybody loves. This has been Brandon Kempf and Mama Kempf, JAG TV. That looks delicious. I know what I'm making when I get home. Thanks for watching this week's edition of JAG TV. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and JAGTVNews.com. See you next week.